Okay, now, listen up. As saints, let me tell y'all something. When you pray to Father, always remember to pray for wisdom. His wisdom, not worldly wisdom. Worldly wisdom is foolishness to God. We don't want that. We want godly wisdom, which also brings about discernment. Huh? Discernment is when you know everything. When you have insight of everything, oh, it sometimes can be kind of frightening. I used to smoke weed years ago. Years ago in my shenanigan days. And I'm going to go further back to when I was even a teenager. I'm going to just give it a brief example on what type of, uh, on how this discernment is. When I used to smoke weed back in my teens, uh, I used to hang out with my homeboys and all their homegirls, and we used to listen to music. You know that you know that rap back then, the rap, the the, the street type, real true gangster rap back then. <laughs> Stuff that had some meaning on 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 the street life. So when we listened to that type of music, it had us thinking after we smoked. Now, I don't know if you right now, saints, can relate to this. But if you used to be shenanigan and used to smoke weed and hang out. When I used to smoke, I used to be cool and mellow. But I also was alert. I used to be so alert from smoking weed that when we listened to music, we heard every bit of the track. Who can relate? When we listen to the music, we can hear every synthesized trouble, whatever, of that track. Not only that, but like I said, the music that I listened to coming up, it was that street rap. And I ain't talking about this gunk, faggoty stuff right now today. I'm talking about the, the real hip-hop back in the 90s. Skyface, The Ghetto Boys, Too Short, 8 Ball and MJG, UGK, that, that type of rap. And even listen to the lyrics, we used to be like, man, hold on, that was deep right there. It made you think and you was more of alert and it made the song even better when, while you were under the influence. But smoking used to have me alert. I see, I hear, I notice. I was a little paranoid. Yeah, I'm keeping it 100. Now, that was with that wickedness. That was the wickedness alertness. I don't, you, you don't want that. <laughs> that was just a brief testimony. Huh? And when I teach, I like to be specific so I get a little low. For the grimy to understand, for those who lack spiritual knowledge to understand my comparison. Now, discernment is similar to that. Huh? Godly discernment is similar to that, but this right here is not shenanigan. This is not a wicked alertness, but it can still be slightly frightening sometimes. I tell you. When you pray to God for discernment, he gives it to you. Oh, he would give you his wisdom quick. Quicker than when you used to ask for money. Ask for prosperity. God takes his time giving you, giving you financial prosperity. He takes his time because he don't want you to mess up. But when it comes to asking for his wisdom... He gives it to you. Just like that. When you have his discernment. You know every bit of shenanigan before it happened. 
Sometimes I scare myself. I know when people are wicked before they even go through with their schemes. I can go further with explaining what this discernment by God Almighty is. Years ago, I leave. He told me when I was drinking my beers and selling street wise, come here, you're a call. Go over here and teach you the word. I'm like, huh? You're going to be teaching this word. You're going to be teaching the word during uh, uh, years later. You're going to be teaching what he said. You're going to be teaching uh, around the new world order. You're going to be teaching around that time. I didn't understand none he said about that. I didn't, I didn't understand none of that. But now I do. And around that time back in 99 when I used to walk with Ali to go to the park and read the Bible while we were walking, he used to always be like, no, let's scoot over a little bit. That's that's Satan right there. No, I got to watch out for that demon right there. I'm like, what, huh? What? Every time we walk, you talking about that's a demon and that person right there, I need to be on the lookout. And you talking about this and that and the other, watch out over here. Bro. Where you at, Ali? Where you at? Bro, he couldn't be no wrong, man. Now I see what Ali was talking about. I see what the elder brother was talking about. Now Ali was in his 40s then. I had just hit 21. Huh? You see what, what happens when you're around people older than you who has wisdom, godly wisdom? He was sent. He was a prophet. He was sent to me to tell me that I'm going to be teaching, not specific uh, uh, the timing of it, but 20 years later or 20 plus years later that I'm teaching. That's what he says. So you're going to be teaching. I'm going to get you ready for the new world order. You got to come over here and study. Now, he just came out of nowhere. And while I used to study with him, walking down the street, going to the park, he was always say, mm -mm, that person right there, nah, now see, that was, that, was a, that was a wicked act right there. And I'm like, what is he talking about? I used to thought he was crazy. Now that I've been called, because I was predestined back then, I didn't know that, but now I'm called. And when I go places and, and do this and I'm around people who are not saved, Oh, Ali was right. These are demons that surrounds me. Huh? I'm around a lot of demons. And so let me tell you something. I want to ask you all the question out there, saints. Now that you are aware that you are around wolves, have you experienced someone who play games with you? And I mean, uh, I, I mean that 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 that's like a elder, like forties plus, who play childish games. Now I got a, a few videos that I speak on forties plus who act immature, but I'm gonna give you one of the ultimate prime examples of how you know you're around an older dodo. When you have someone who may try to initiate a petty conversation by calling your name and asking you a question just to shut down your answer or your response, someone who may ask you your opinion about something and just for them to disagree with your opinion, well, why the hell did you ask my opinion? Why did you ask, my, why are you bothering me? Just so you can just say, well, nah, I ain't that, nah, I ain't. and this is all the time. Have you ever experienced that? By the same dodo, somebody say, hey, how you doing? And right before you can get a chance to say, I'm out, they like, hey, such and such. They call somebody else name in the midst of an asking you a question. They not even done with you about you not finishing answering. And they cut your conversation to talk about, to talk to somebody else. Let me tell you something. That's a demon. See, what happens is these people don't care about conversation with you 
They just do what they do for themselves, for their attention, so they can see a re get a reaction out of you. They know you're mad in your business. They know you got peace within yourself. So they want to interrupt that and get a reaction at you so they can walk away and say, yes, I did something. Yes, I just irritated this person. Oh, yep, yep, I still got it. And the messed up part about that, these type of dodos think you're stupid. See, you already know what type of shenanigan they're working with. You're trying to work with humbling yourself. You're trying to be at peace. Now, check this out. Now, since you know that this type of dodo is purposely and persistent with their behavior when it comes to this, check this out. This, this has Satan flip the script to, to get you to give in. When this person do it again and you know they're going to do it because you have discernment and you don't give no answer or no response. You just put your wall up because now they playing games. They want to take advantage of your kindness. So you didn't gave them the benefit of the doubt. So now at this point, you're not playing no more. You, Hey, such and such, how was your day? Hey, such and such, what's your opinion about this? Oh, what? what's wrong with your day? What's wrong? With, see, see what I'm saying? See how Satan, Satan want to flip it as if you're the problem because you're not willing to play the game that they persist and keep playing. See what I'm saying? See, Satan wants you to feel bad about everything we do. When we give a response, we're supposed to feel stupid when we get treated. When we don't give a response, we're supposed to feel bad and, and, and guilty because we're not feeding back to them. See what I'm saying? See, we damn what we do and we damn what we don't. Let me tell y'all something. Follow your spirit. Follow the spirit of God, saints. We are out here being tested amongst wolves. We have to go through these tests to strengthen our spirit to prepare us to Put Satan away for the ultimate time. We have to go through this. But I say again before I close. Always pray for discernment. Ask God for his wisdom and he give it to you. Don't don't, don't uh, get scared. And don't be like, oh, I ain't, I ain't want that much with. No, when he give it to you, he going to give it to you. That's what he want us to have. Just know how to use it. Thank God and know how to use it. Use it wisely and in righteousness. Shalom.